I'm not here to hear what he has to say. That was what rang true, loud, and could not have been more honest coming from the judge who has already predetermined that my client committed fraud before we even walked into this courtroom. I'm not here to hear what he has to say. Then why exactly am I being paid as an attorney and why exactly are taxpayer dollars being used in this courtroom? The answer is very clear. Because Ms. James wants to stand right here like she did this morning and call my client a liar, call the company fraudulent, and make a name for herself. She said this morning that the numbers don't lie and they won't lie in this case. Well, Ms. James, I have a message for you. The numbers didn't lie when you ran for governor, and that's why you dropped out. And the numbers don't lie when President Trump runs for office in 2024. And those numbers are loud and clear. This country is falling apart. And if we don't stop corruption in courtrooms where attorneys are gagged, where attorneys are not allowed to say what they need to say to protect their clients' interests, it doesn't matter what your politics are. Everyone has a right in this country to get up and put a defense. I don't care who you are. You have a right to hire a lawyer who can put objections on the record. You have a right to hire a lawyer who can stand up and say something when they see something wrong. But I was told to sit down today. I was yelled at and I've had a judge who is unhinged slamming a table. Let me be very clear. I don't tolerate that in my life. I'm not going to tolerate it here. And you know what? You shouldn't either. Because not every American citizen gets a camera and a microphone. And what I'm seeing is such a demise of American judicial system and democracy. Miss James came out this morning and said that she knew Mr. Trump, and she always calls him Mr. Trump because it kills her that he was the president. But the 45th president of this country, one of the best presidents we've had, has built a great company. It's worth a ton more than that statement of financial condition. And she doesn't know how to get out of it because her politics won't allow her. She calls him a bully. She says he's going to bring out racial slurs. He's going to say things today and taunt her. Well, Miss James, you taunted him before you came into office, before you saw one record, one statement of financial condition. You taunted him. You said his administration was too male and too pale. Those are her words. She's got nothing but her Soros backing, which we discovered recently. And I am sick and tired of seeing it. Pay attention, America. Pay attention. Because when you're in court one of these days and you don't have a lawyer that has a microphone and you don't have a lawyer that can go on TV and you've got judges gagging them, what are you going to do? We need to fix this country. And we need to stop what is happening in this courtroom. President Trump is worth a lot more and she wasn't ready for it. She doesn't understand it. And before she rushed to judgment, she should have thought about attacking somebody with over 50 years of real estate expertise who changed single-handedly the skyline of New York City. She picked the wrong person and her politics will fail for it. Are you concerned by the judge's statement? So let's be clear about why the judge said that. The judge doesn't like when President Trump explains what actually happened because it's not good for his narrative. This is a judge who clearly has an issue. If you've seen his behavior with me, you've seen his behavior uh, with the president today. He has a clear issue with facts that are not good for the case because he already predetermined, and I want everyone to understand, this is, yes, we do not have a jury. Yes, we do not have a lot of things that we should because they brought it under section 6312. But this judge decided this case and liability before we walked up those stairs. I didn't have a shot. So right now we're sitting here doing a whole dance and the only thing they want are facts that are bad for Trump. Judicial system and democracy. Miss James came out this morning. Numbers don't lie, Miss James, to use her own words. Numbers don't lie. Anything else? Thank you, everybody. Thank you.
I was present in the courtroom, of course, during Michael Cohen's testimony. I was in court today during uh, defendant, I'll call him defendant Trump, defendant Trump's testimony. Uh, it was a circus this morning. And I just have to say briefly, Alina Haba just said that nobody should be called a liar, but it was one of the first things that she did here. Is she called my client a liar, that he lied when he testified last uh, week and a half ago. He didn't lie. He has convictions in his past, but his testimony a week and a half ago was nothing but the truth and the whole truth. I don't have anything else really to add other than, again, what happened today. She was asked to sit down. She should have sat down. Shouldn't have required the judge to say to sit down. Same with Mr. Kais, who makes the statements. It's inappropriate. And the judge doesn't stop telling them it's inappropriate. And they keep doing it anyway. So it is a small, maybe not a small, small maybe because it's confined to a courtroom. But it's become now this circus. It's nothing less than a circus in there. It's performative by the witness who doesn't answer the questions, even though the judge keeps asking him to answer the questions. It's unfortunate that the cameras aren't in the courtroom. Y'all would have seen what was going on there.